Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, for calling this, uh, this hearing. As I've indicated many times, aviation safety is our subcommittee's top priority, and I know it's the top priority of our full committee as well. It's virtually important that we understand and fully explore any and all safety issues related to the operations in the national airspace system. Just over a month ago, a Piper airplane and a tourist helicopter collided over the Hudson River, killing all nine people aboard both aircraft. While the specific causes of this tragic accident are still under investigation, it's another reminder that while we have a very safe system, we cannot let our guard down or become complacent. Look forward to working with the National Transportation Safety Board, the FAA, and industry stakeholders to address all the contributing causal factors in this accident. Hundreds of flights a day from JFK, LaGuardia, Newark, and uh, Teterboro operate in the New York City airspace, making it the busiest uh, on our globe. Maintaining safety in this airspace requires a dedicated, focused effort by air traffic controllers, operators, and regulators alike. The National Transportation Safety Board has taken an important first step by releasing its recommendations for improving safety in the Hudson River airspace. These recommendations include revising air traffic control procedures as well as creating a special flight rule area uh, in this airspace. I'm pleased that Chairman Herzman could join us today and look forward to her testimony as she outlines these recommendations. The air traffic control challenges posed by this congested airspace should renew our focus on how accelerating air traffic control modernization can help address safety issues. With commercial and general aviation air traffic anticipated to continue to grow, modernizing our nation's air traffic control system should be a top priority. Ensuring that every aviation operator, general as well as commercial, has the opportunity to obtain satellite positioning technology could go a long way in making aircraft operations safer and more efficient. Imagine if the pilot of the Piper had access to the air traffic control information right in his own cockpit. He would have been alerted to the presence of other aircraft and could probably have avoided the collision. We simply cannot afford to operate an analog airspace system in a digital world. I'm looking forward to the testimony and discussion of these safety issues. And I actually have, uh, I think, some command and control issues as well. Who's in charge? I, I thank our witnesses for their participation and contributions to this hearing and yield back the balance of my time. I thank 